This is Jupiter Today for the 8th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede's gonna be spending all day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto is also in quadrant two, all day, heading west. At 3.15 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance between EO and Jupiter that it will be in its orbit around Jupiter. And the apogee is at a distance of 423,527.4 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO's just about to be moving behind Jupiter. Going to be moving into quadrant one, heading east. Europa is still in quadrant three, heading west, but getting near its western elongation. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is past going behind Jupiter, now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. And Europa has now successfully passed its western elongation and is in quadrant four, now heading east. 18 hours UTC, EO has reached its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is firmly in quadrant two, heading west, as well as Ganymede and Callisto, with Europa coming up behind them in quadrant four, heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter in the next six hours there. There are two Jupiter satellite events today, first at 538 UTC when EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter, and then at 759 UTC when EO reappears from behind Jupiter. There are no satellite mutual events today. So we'll move right on to the orbital ribbons. So these are the same orbits that you saw before, EO and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto. And I've just connected the orbits in time here to make these interesting shapes. And to me, they look like a twisted ribbon. So here's the connection between EO and Europa and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and Ganymede and Callisto. And then I put them all together and colorize them a little bit to give that. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. And we're just gonna see what the sky does in the next 24 hours. Jupiter rotates once on its axis about every 10 hours, so we'll see this go around about twice.
There was a near triple conjunction there. Yo just passing in front of Ganymede. And then Callisto as we end the day. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 4.09 and the second at 14.05 UTC. There were quite a number of new images. And I appreciate seeing all of these and getting all of these. Most of these are going into the new image database that just records the date and time of the image taken and the telescope and camera used. And there was also some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 20 minutes, 0.9 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 34 minutes, 55.6 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is now getting less. Today it's 178.287 degrees, and that's 0.713 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is now going to continue to grow. Today it's 0.319 degrees, and that's 0.134 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 650,251,186 kilometers and that's 56,996 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 2,374.83 kilometers per hour and that's 1,969.45 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,747,466 kilometers, and that's 46,360 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,931.67 kilometers per hour, and that's 1.75 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 302.17 degrees, CM2, 307.71 degrees, CM3, 216.57 degrees. The time of this recording is 2126 UTC on the 7th of February, 2015. So thanks for subscribing and appreciate hearing any comments and questions or suggestions you have to make this video podcast ever better. I like to present different perspectives on this incredibly dynamic system. So you can send those and any images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.